Hey guys, welcome back to another video here on Eden Scory. Today I'm so excited because I'm going to be showing you guys my at home workout. But before we get on to the video, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and turn on that little bell so you never miss a video. And then let's just hop right into today's video. I'm so excited, so let's go. Okay, so the first thing I always do before starting my workout is just a little bit of pre-workout stretches. I just think it's such a good idea to like, you know, get your bones loose and stuff, get your muscles stretched. I don't know, it's personal preference. Sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't, not gonna lie. But I try to before every workout. And like I said, nothing too complicated, just simple, basic stretches. Then I always like to just do a little bit of warm ups before my actual workout. So here I just ran in place for about five minutes. Just ran in place, that's it. Nothing, nothing fancy. Okay, so after I am done running in place, I like to do this little workout and I basically just run side to side in between these two little sliders. But as you can see, Arlo thought we were playing and we weren't playing and I was trying to do my pre-workout warm up and he would not stop barking so I had to make him leave the room. But anyways, I just run back and forth between these two little circle things and you can use anything honestly. I have exercise sliders but like you use like books or like even a towel or pillows, whatever you want and then you just run back and forth and I did this for again probably about like three minutes. So I don't know if there's a name for these, but I just kind of came up with them one day. I didn't see them anywhere, but basically you just stand on your one leg and then point your other leg and just bring it in and out. And it's like a killer. Honestly, my legs were so sore after this. Not even kidding, um, but it is really hard to keep your balance. Fair warning if you're using sliders, but you don't even need sliders. You could use a towel and just do it on the hardwood floor, but just keep your balance because it was really hard. Don't forget to stay hydrated. All right, so next we're going into my fave and they are planks. Planks are so much fun and I always just love trying to challenge myself to get my time higher. Today I did two minutes, I think 30 seconds, something like that. Uh, but planks are just such a good exercise and I love doing them and you can literally do them anywhere. Okay, it was two minutes and 20 seconds, not 30. Can't forget about the H2O. Okay, so for my next part of my workout, I took my resistance band and I don't know what like level this is. I think technically it's considered you're resisting 20 pounds. I'm not sure exactly. But anyways, I just got these off of Amazon and they were super cheap. Um, but all I did was put my legs in the resistance band and just put them up in the air and continue to pull them outward and then inward and then outward again. And I alternated between legs up and legs down. And again, this is a killer for the thighs, but I love it so much. And I think it's really fun to do. So I 10 out of 10 would recommend getting these. Like I said, they're super cheap. But then I just flipped over onto my stomach and did the same thing, but uh, laying down. Okay, so next I took my little slidey slider things and I just did a plank and did about like I think 10 of these little inward and outward plank things with your legs and then I took a break for some water, but those are a great exercise and again, you could honestly do it with a towel on like your hardwood floor. So next I moved into one of my favorite exercises and I, I don't really know what these are called, but I just call them bridges. But basically you just have your feet on the floor and then you pulse upwards and it is such a good exercise and like you could literally do this while you're like watching TV or something. You, you could do them anywhere. That's why I love these exercises because literally you can do them anywhere at any time. And then I moved into my crunches and I don't know how many of these I did. I usually just do them until like my core and abs feel like they're on fire. But that's how you know, that's how you know you're doing it. <laughs> but anyways, um, I like to put my hands in front of me sometimes because I feel like it just stretches different muscles and stuff. But I just do these until I'm tired. Okay. 
Okay, so this next exercise I actually saw from Cassie from Blog Lotties, but you take a pillow and then you squeeze it with your ankles and you just do these little leg lifts with your legs bent. And like these are such a good exercise. I literally love this because anywhere you are, you have a pillow. So shout out to Cassie for showing me this. Well, she didn't show me, but the internet. And I really like these. So 10 out of 10 would do them. Then once I'm tired and have had enough of those, I get my water and take like a short like 15 second break before I move into my resistance band exercise. And all I did was took my 10 pound resistance band. Well, the resistance band isn't 10 pound. I'm resisting 10 pounds, supposedly. I don't really know how those work. But anyways, I took these and just did some side leg lifts and I did them on both sides again just until I got tired. I don't really always count how many I do. I just do it until I feel like I've done enough. You know what I'm saying? You're picking up what I'm laying down. But anyways, uh, these are also a really, really good exercise for your thighs and you will be sore, trust me. Okay, so next we move into our lunges, which is what I try to always end my workout with, but I just alternate legs doing lunges on each leg. And then I move into like lunge pulses, where is where I just like pulse in place. You'll see in a second. But the pulses are where they get you. Like, trust me, you won't be expecting what it feels like after the pulses. Literally, these things get my legs so incredibly sore. So I just do that again until I'm tired and feel like I've done enough. Your girl's tired and needs a water break. Who's with me? Okay, then to end my workout, I definitely always try to stretch again after my workout because I feel like it just helps my muscles from not being quite as sore. And I just like the way it feels to like crack my back and hips and all that. And it just feels really good. So one of my stretches, I take my resistance band to pull me closer to the ground because I got tight hamstrings. But that is my workout, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Maybe give you some inspiration. I hope you guys give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos. And as always, don't forget to love the life you're living. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!